Okay, guys, hello. Mm, there are Agirim Tohtarva, teacher of ICT. Uh, faculty is computer science and uh, mathematics. Uh, today, we are going to talk about uh, lecture two. This uh, lecture theme is introduction of computer system and the architecture of computer system. First of all, I want to talk about um, plan of lecture. Uh, there are architecture of computer systems, types of computers, the base components of computer. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about architecture of computer systems. A computer architecture is a detailed specification of the communication and the data storage elements like a hardware, a computer system how those uh, components interact uh, machine organization and how they are controlled like that. Uh, <clears throat> I want to say about um, description of its organization and the principles of function its structural elements. The computer main device communication in between. The principles formulated in 1945 by John Neman other basis for creating of the majority of computer. Okay. Second is, I want to say architecture of computer systems and uh, two device, about two device. You can see it on the screen. There are two device, input device and output device. Central processing unit. Uh, this is main part and then control unit and the logic unit and the memory unit. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's talk about memory unit. The computer will have memory that hold both date and also the program processing that date. In modern computers, the memory is RAM. Let's talk about input output. This architecture allows for the idea that a person needs to interact with the machine. Whatever values that are paid Paste it to and forth and store it once again in the some internal registers. Types of computers. Well, let's talk about this. Mm, this is personal computers and the workstation. Personal computer is a small single user computer based on microprocessor. In addition to the microprocessor, a personal computer has keyboard for entering date uh, and the figures, information like that. Um, monitor for displaying information and storage device for saving date. How about a workstation? A powerful single user computer. A workstation is like a personal computer, but it has more powerful microprocessor and a higher quality monitor. Uh, there is types of computers. We can see, you can see it in the screen. There are computers, main farmers and uh, subcomputers mini computers, personal computers also has many types like desktop computers, notebooks, tablets and uh, hand handhelds like that. I hope you have it one of them or netbook or notebook or notebook or personal computer. I don't know like that. For example, now I have a notebook computers, mini computers. Let's talk about this typical supported hundreds of users, no longer a product line, smaller and less expensive than main farmers. The real difference is relative in the terms of price and poor marketing, known as mid-range computers. The basic, the basic components of computers, there are, um, we know, mon monitor, mouse, keyboard, RAM, hard drive, CD-ROM, floppy disk, CPU, network card, modem, printer, speakers. The CPU controls are the other resources within the system in the order accomplish the task. Uh, so um, also it's extra components also has computers uh, like a mouse, um, like a, um, cameras like that. 
but main part is monitor, uh, keyboard, RAM, hard drive, CD-ROM, and the network card. This is more important than others. Okay, talk about uh, central processing unit. What is this? Uh, for example, a uh, logic unit performs calculate calculations and the de design uh, decisions. Control unit uh, coordinates processing steps, registers small fast storage areas for instruction and data. Okay. Uh, now I want to uh, talk about um, characteristics of processor. What is that? Uh, counts word size equal to the numbers at the same time process bits. The higher the bit processor, the more information it can handle and the per unit time, the above its effectiveness. Okay. And the other space, the maximum amount of memory which can serve processors. Uh, represents set address used in this computer system. Okay, now I want to talk about memory. Computer memory, million billions of charges like bits, bytes, words. You can see the numbers on the screen. Main uh, memory characteristics very closely connected to CPU. Connects are quickly and easily changed. Holds the programs and date the processor is actively working with and interacts with the processor millions of times per second. Nothing permanent, it's kept in main memory. The main device of PS, what is that? First of all, ROM, RAM. Uh, processor and highway that date bus address bus control bus what is this controller keyboard controller also printer and controller display and the controller drive let's talk about system bus what is this uh, system bus on the control bus puts processor ready uh, ready signal and the red signal. Nothing the ready signal check all devices whether or not the bus addresses of their address. Memory bus exposes the information that the memory puts the control ready signal bus like that. Rom nas RAM nothing that exposes her addresses reads the control signals. And now let's talk in uh, the internal memory of computer. It's RAM located on the motherboard. It's used for temporary storage of that day during the immediate PS. ROM read only memory, used um, for permanent storage of day to do not invert intervention. Okay, a cache memory. What is this? Buffer memory unit. Internal memory cache located inside the processor. It used to increase the performance of your computer matching operation of device with the different speeds, the exchange of the between processor and the memory. How about cache memory? Uh, this is secondary storage, many, main memory, cache memory. Of course, it's uh, all this, uh, what I said, it's the diagram of computer with cache. So you can see it on the screen and understand it by, mm, from by, mm, what's this, images. Okay, controllers, let's talk about this. Um, sends to process its signals to performance of its device. This resulting signal is converted into to a binary form of user friendly, are interested into the slots on the motherboard and uh, to their ports connected additional devices. Okay, um, guys, this is end of our lecture our lex lecture and uh, there is some of question you have to answer for this uh, from the lecture uh, what the best way to add device to computer system how can i protect my computer system from the theft and the damage mm, 
What is the best type of storage for a date? Why does computer need memory? What factors affect a computer screen display? Uh, list components of computer system and explain the process of work each computer system components. Okay, guys, uh, try to answer the question and give your uh, try to answer the question and give your um, answer to your teacher for checking it. Uh, I will say goodbye to you and see you uh, on the next lesson. Goodbye.